If there were no blacks, I'd have to invent them. I don't know how many people even know this exists. Johnny Spate, if that's how you pronounce it, I hope so, because I respect this guy, has written this satire sketch about an hour long, and this DVD comes with two different versions of it. From 68, black and white, and... Seventy-four in color and different people in the roles. They both have some strengths and weaknesses. Overall, I like the older better. I think the new one is a little too on the nose, a bit too obvious about it. Like in in both of them, there's this message: keep heaven white. In the first one, it's on a sign, and then they talk about it. In the second one, the guy is singing it, in addition to it being on the sign. It just kind of almost goes from satire into being farce, and I don't think that really benefits the message here. As you can probably guess, it is about racism. But it's really not only about racism. It makes them really compelling points about, for example, racism, such as that there are people who, you know, there, there are positions, jobs, that we respect a lot, that define themselves as being the opposite of something else. You know, if there weren't disease, well, why would we need doctors? You know, if there weren't crime and criminals, why would we need police, you know? So, the fact that we respect the doctor or the policeman is because of something bad, you know? So, racism is, in effect, people wanting to, you know, seem good by opposing something that they deem bad in some way. And there is that whole thing of, you know, black is the color of, you know, something bad, and, you know, the acting varies a bit, but these aren't really about, you know, compelling performances. There is some overacting and such. We get some sex jokes, and... They... There is a point to them. And it's in general about, you know, what if I was this thing that everyone says is bad, you know? One of the central bits of this, because it really is a lot of different situations, one of them is a blind man who walks around with someone who leads him, you know, a bit of a human, you know, watchdog kind of thing. Seeing eye dog, that's the name, that's the word. But this other guy won't open his eyes because what if he sees something that isn't quite like how the blind man thinks it is? Then they'll they'll have a difference of opinion. They'll, they'll be separated, you know, they'll be something different. He, don't, he doesn't want to risk that, you know. And the blind man is talking to this young man, and since he can't see him, he says, maybe you're black, you know, and the young man is terrified because he isn't black. But the blind man can't tell, you know, and I'm not going to give too much away of that, but that is one of the central portions of both versions, and the whole thing, you know, the whole hour, well worth watching, of both of them. And I believe this has been, and maybe still is, being used 
for educational purposes, and that's really, you know, a great idea because it, uh, it can offend, and there's some black humor and you know, some some risque stuff, but on the whole, I mean, thirteen-year-olds and you know, teenagers can certainly handle this, and it would be good if they get to thinking about these things. But in general, it's, you know, perfectly regular people can sit down and watch it and enjoy it. It really has some very good, intelligent points made about things such as racism. You know, the whole idea of fighting something that isn't like you. Because if it isn't like you, then it must be evil because you're good. Because if you're not good, then you might be evil. And if you're like that other thing, then may then you must be evil because that other thing isn't like the masses are, you know, so... Yeah, that is basically what there is to say about it, so I definitely recommend it, if you can find it anywhere. You know, either version or both on the same disc, you know, definitely worth checking out if your mind is open enough for it. So that is my spoiler for review of If There Were No Blacks You'd Have to Invent Them. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.